Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in this really quick video today, I'm going to be explaining to you why I believe we're heading for an economic recession, what this means for you and what you can do to prevent yourself being badly hurt during this worldwide economic recession that is on the way. It might be nice and sunny where you are now, but batten down the hatches because there's a storm coming. So what has happened that makes me think that we are heading for a worldwide recession? What makes me see that this is all doom and gloom that's coming? Well, one of the first things to get hit in any recession is property. The first thing that usually starts happen is sales start slowing down on properties. The next thing that starts to happen is there is some other outside interference. So whether that's usually interest rates being risen, or unemployment happening and what that does is it causes property owners who are trying to sell their properties or have been trying to sell their properties for the last few months to panic and drop the prices of their property well this hasn't happened just yet in the uk what is currently happening at the moment is the market is flat things aren't selling and i know this from speaking firsthand with estate agents. I've been calling them about a lot of different properties recently and with a lot of them the news seems to be that it's you know it's a, it's at a correction stage. This is the word that they've been using to describe the market at the moment. It's correcting itself. So that means it can either go up or go down and just over the last couple of days the UK announced that they are rising interest rates. They're only rising them by 0.25% so they were at 0.5% and now they're going up to 0.75. But again, this is not a significant rise, but they have announced that they are not ruling out further interest rate rises in 2018, which again is bad news for someone who is trying to sell a property that hasn't been selling up to now. Because if it hasn't been selling up to now, it's going to get more expensive for someone to purchase it if that person is getting a loan on that property, which most people are when they are buying properties. The second reason that I think the UK is heading for a recession is the uncertainty around Brexit. Uncertainty always leads to one thing, and that is panic. Panic always leads to one thing, which is a recession. What happens is people start panicking. People start saving the money they have and not spending. And that causes an economy to go into a recession. And at this current time, just under half the people in the United Kingdom voted to stay in the EU. Whereas just over half the population of the United Kingdom voted out of the EU and voted for Brexit. But that isn't the problem. The problem is that even the people that voted for Brexit that wanted the United Kingdom to leave the EU, they don't have confidence in the government that is in place to get them the deal that they want to get for this Brexit. So what that's doing is that's leading to more uncertainty because although they still want out of the EU, they don't have confidence in their own government. And again, this isn't everyone. There are going to be a lot of people that do have confidence in the current government, but a lot of people don't have confidence in the government to negotiate a good deal with the EU, a deal that is going to actually help the United Kingdom and get what they voted for. And then you have the other side who still thinks that Britain should remain in the EU and not leave it. And again, they are not confident with the government that's in place to get this deal for them. So both sides of this Brexit argument are not happy with the government that are in place to get the deal that they want to get for Britain for the future. Okay, so you're probably asking now, this is all around the United Kingdom and Britain, and that's because that's where I'm based. This is where I have the most knowledge about the actual market. This is where I read a lot of the different reports that come out on a weekly basis around the British economy. But this isn't just a British problem. This is actually a worldwide problem. And if you speak with people or watch estate agents in the US, they are saying the same thing. They are saying that the US is at a correction stage. This is very worrying. You know, when both sides of the water, they're saying the markets are at a correction stage, 
This is very worrying because this reminds me of something that happened back in 2009 when the actual world economy shrank massively and went into a deep recession. Yes, Britain and the US are not the only countries in the world, but they are two major forces when it comes to having big economies, economies that other economies feed and thrive off. So if these two major economies are in a correction stage and can go either way, then I feel like it's a very volatile time for economies around the world. So although no one can, you know, rightly guarantee when a crash is going to happen or if a crash is going to happen, these are just two big indicators that I have noticed in regards to a recession being on the way. And all it will take is unemployment figures to rise significantly in either of these countries or interest rates to rise significantly in either of these countries. And that's when panic will really kick in. And when this panic kicks in, that's when the economy will go into a recession. So what can you do to protect yourself if you feel like an economy is going into a recession? Well, the best thing to have on hand is cash at the time of a recession. As Warren Buffett famously says, recessions are the ideal time to expand because everything is on sale. And that is the truth behind it. But the only way that you can take advantage of this is if you have the cash on hand to make the purchases that you see, to make these investments that you see that are going to grow over time. But that's not always easy to do. And that's not always easy to have this cash on hand. But there is something that you can do to start having this cash on hand. And that is working harder now. And I know you're probably sick of hearing this and this is the obvious answer but it is the time to really be putting in the work and to be creating cash flowing assets that you have that will be generating cash for you, whether it's a recession or not a recession. And one cash flowing asset that you could consider having if you don't already have it is an e-commerce business. And again, you don't have to jump right in and go into private label and invest loads of money into it. You can start smaller. You can start by either doing like retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, or wholesale arbitrage and simply flipping your cash quickly on these deals. Again, these are only quick cash flowing assets that you will be buying because wherever you are selling them, whether you're selling them on eBay or on Amazon, you will be able to do the research before you actually go out and buy them and see that they are products that you can easily flip for a profit. And as well as doing this, you will be making money as well as learning the trade, learning e-commerce. This is how I started with e-commerce. I started buying products off eBay, off Gumtree, and flipping them back on eBay and Gumtree. This was before I ever even found Amazon. And this can be still done today and is a safe way to flip your money because you're not investing all your cash into something. Although, if you do feel like you know enough already, then you can start by purchasing your own brand of products from China and flipping these products on Amazon and on your own website in whichever country you decide to sell on. But if you want to go a safer route, then simply start buying on your local marketplace, whether that's Craigslist if you're in the US, Gumtree if you're in the UK, eBay in both of them, and simply flipping products for a profit. This way you're generating cash, but yes, these do take time, whether it's retail, online, or wholesale arbitrage that you do, it does take time to find the products, time to source them, time, time to sort them out, time to send them to a fulfillment center. It all does take time. So that is why you have to put the work in if you really want to secure cash for when the recession hits. Basically, that's it for this video. I just wanted to get my point of view across to you. I would love to hear your point of view. Please leave it down in the comments if you have any point of view on this video or any predictions about a recession on the way, whether it's going to come, whether it's not going to come, whether you agree with what I say, whether you totally disagree with what I say. I really want to hear your opinion. That's the reason I put this video out. So please leave it down in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to see more videos like this, as well as e-commerce related videos in the future. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I look forward to speaking to you on the next one. Bye.